Well, hello everyone. My name is Ben Weekly, and I live in northern Minnesota. And uh, I've put together a series of uh, YouTube videos to help train men and women uh, in Minnesota and across the United States uh, on low pressure boiler operation. And uh, uh, I'm uh, uh, going to uh, introduce some of these uh, sessions to you uh, and uh, they pretty much follow uh, a set of or a series of books that I would recommend that you purchase. Uh, you don't purchase them from me, but you purchase them from uh, a publisher <clears throat> that uh, puts out some of the greatest uh, materials when it comes to uh, reading and understanding and training on uh, on uh, low pressure boilers. So that's what this whole video series is going to be about, the low pressure boiler operation. Uh, so we will cover subject matter going through these all the way from uh, the very beginnings of, of boilers, the theories of how they operate, to the various component parts that go onto those boilers, uh, the fuel consumption, uh, the routine testing of the boilers. Uh, we will be talking about uh, <clears throat> fire safety, uh, logging uh, uh, information on your boilers. And uh, so anything that is involved with the operation of the boilers, <clears throat> we will be discussing that. And uh, the books that I recommend that you purchase will be training you in great detail uh, concerning boiler operation. Now, just to give you an example, uh, I have been in boiler operation for about 30 years. I have trained boiler operators in northern Minnesota. <clears throat> now, I guess, purchased uh, uh, now by the probably by the hundreds. And uh, uh, so I've had some experience and background in it. Uh, so uh, it's been a passion of mine to teach boilers and work with boilers, both steam and hot water boilers during this period of time. I'm uh, what I would call partially retired right now. I'm retired from active work, but I still involve myself when it comes to the operation and training and so forth of boilers. Uh, in Minnesota, <clears throat> I currently have a chief C license and uh, as such, uh, I get to enjoy some of the benefits of having that license. And uh, one thing that I want to talk about when it comes to boiler operation is the fact that there isn't anybody out there that knows everything about boilers. And I don't want you to think that I know everything that pertains to boilers. Nobody really does. Uh, there's individuals and organizations out there that all specialize in their certain areas when it comes to the operation of boilers. Some train uh, are involved in training of inspectors. Some are involved in the construction of safety valves. Some are involved in the repair of boilers. Uh, so there's just many, many organizations and individuals out there that have expertise in various areas. As a boiler operator, that's my expertise, how to operate safely low pressure boilers. And uh, so, but when it comes to uh, like say the repair of a boiler, that's not my expertise. If my boiler for some reason isn't working correctly or needs repair to it, that's not something I would do. I would call people in <coughs> that are expert in that area and would take care of that area. Uh, let's go back <coughs> and discuss these books that I'm recommending you. This is the introduction session. So this is the very starting session. And so if you have happened on to my video series, uh, there's a number of them, uh, roughly a dozen video series as I take you through the book and take you step by step through 
the correct operation and safe operation of boilers. Uh, you'll follow these books. It's, uh, I just can't uh, tell you and emphasize enough how important it is that you get these. Now, if you've had a little bit of experience in boilers or have had almost no experience in boilers, I would recommend that you get Low Pressure Boilers. Uh, it's uh, published by American Technical Publishers, written by Howard Steingress. Uh, this is uh, the fourth series right here. They currently have a fifth series out. So go to American Technical Publishers and purchase this book. Uh, you can't get along without it. Now, in addition to that, I would recommend that you purchase the Low Pressure Boilers for, uh, Study Guide. Low Pressure Boilers Study Guide by the American Technical Publishers. Uh, it just uh, has all kinds of information in it that uh, reinforces everything that you read in the textbook. Now, the textbooks come with, uh, with a video in it, which also gives you additional training. So by reading these books, looking at the videos, doing the study guides, and listening to my training uh, session after session, which pretty much follows the chapters in these books, I will guide you as you go through. You're going to go a long ways when it comes to the learning uh, of low pressure boiler operation. This here is another textbook and it's similar to the one I showed you, only this is their latest textbook. This is uh, Low Pressure Boilers 5th edition. When I started out in boiler operation, it was American Technical Publishers books that I read and uh, studied, and that was way back, I think it was just a paperback edition, way back in the 80s and uh, that was probably one of their first editions. But they've had many, many years to compile great information that can train you and give you a thorough understanding of boilers. <clears throat> In Minnesota specifically, if you've never had a license and you're interested in boiler training, you can order this book. It's called Safe Boiler Operation Fundamentals special engineer's guide to the for the state of minnesota this is also by american technical publishers you can go to their website and order this particular book you can follow along eat as i go through the sessions that pretty much follow the uh this particular type textbook but you can follow those sessions along also with this particular textbook that deals specifically with Minnesota. If you're not from Minnesota and you have one of these, there's great information in there as far as how to operate boilers. Safe operation of boilers doesn't change from state to state or from city to city. But uh, <clears throat> so avail yourself of those books and uh, study them and uh, prepare yourself as you go through each session. Now you can take these sessions perhaps do a session uh, once every three or four days. Read the material and study and then listen to the session that deals with the material that you've just studied. I wouldn't try to cram this into a, just a few days. I think most people will be much better uh, suited and will learn better if they read the material and they study and try to uh, absorb what they've learned over a period of say four or five days or a week. So you study your material, maybe you spend two or three nights studying the material, doing the workbook. You go to the boiler room, if you have access to a boiler room, and you look through the boiler room and try to apply and try to figure out Okay, what did I just read and, and where is it on my boiler? Uh, maybe you have somebody that you're working alongside that's already a boiler operator with experience. That's the person that you need to pull into your, into your uh, company 
and uh, and learn from them and say, okay, I, I'm reading this book and it says this. Uh, what are they talking about? Sometimes it's difficult to just read material and apply it in a, in a, in a maintenance situation or an operation situation. So if you have somebody that has some experience and has been there and does it and understands it and maybe operates that boiler, they'd be glad to help you out. <laughs> uh, the one of the things that I've done over the years is I've always tapped into and borrowed from the experience of others. Whenever I've had a boiler inspector come to my building, I was right there. Man, I wanted to be right there. I wanted to talk to them. Oh, what are you, what are you, what are you reading that about? Uh, what's, what's the reason for this? Uh, what's the reason for what you think about this and that? And uh, they give you some great information. If I have somebody come to my building and uh, they're doing repairs, if I could, I would try to be right there and peeking over their shoulder and asking them questions. A lot of times companies and corporations spend thousands and thousands of dollars training people and training repair people and inspectors with all kinds of knowledge. And if you can tap into that, most of those people are proud of the fact that they're knowledgeable in the work that they do. So tap into that and learn from them as well. So this is the introduction, uh, what I would want you to do as you go to session. Session one would be to read the first chapter of the, of the textbook and, the, and do the study guide. And so do that. And then after you're finished with that, then go to session one and listen to my training. So that's kind of how this will go as we go through session one, two, three, four. You read the material that I recommend and then uh, do the study guide and then you would listen to my presentation on YouTube. And so if you follow this all the way through to the completion, uh, it means to me that you are serious about understanding how to safely operate boilers. If you try to cram it into a few days or if all you want to do is listen to this video, sure you'll get some information. And uh, if all you want to do is try to pass a test to get a license, uh, you'll forget three-fourths of what you learned in a matter of a few days. So by reading this through and understanding the principles and uh, understanding uh, the, uh, the full operation and why things work the way they do and why we have to do what we have to do when it comes to operation of boilers. That is what I want you to learn because that's the stuff that you won't forget. Okay, that's it. So uh, get excited about it. Uh, order your books and get those in and start reading. Start in with chapter one, read it through. And as you go through it, ask yourself, you know, what are they trying to tell me here? And as you go through the books, there'll be some review areas. There'll be some, uh, there'll be some questions that you'll have to go back and, and review. It's all a process of getting you to understand the material that you're reading and understand uh, how it applies to the boilers that you operate. If you're a low pressure boiler operator and you want additional information, you want to become more knowledgeable get these books, listen to the videos and follow this course through and it won't cost you much of anything. The books are, are something that you will have to spend some money on, but uh, in the long run, it's, uh, it's very beneficial to you. And uh, these books that you uh, purchase uh, from uh, American Technical Publishers, these books are books that uh, you can use for the next 20, 30 years and you can reference. So you get to the end of your heating uh, season and you say, oh, I need to shut this boiler down for inspection. How do I go about doing that? I can't remember exactly how to do it. You can pick up your book and read it through and follow that to a logical conclusion and do it safely on your boiler. So with that, welcome to the series 
and I hope you enjoy it as you go through. I don't consider myself some type of professional trainer. I'm just a guy that has worked my way up through the industry and uh, has had, uh, I guess, an obsession with the operation of boilers and, and all that makes them tick. And I'm willing to put these series together for your benefit and uh, hope that uh, you make the most of it. So thank you for listening to the introduction. We'll see you again in session one.